Today, we're talking about the question of where a CDP sits in the enterprise architecture of a large brand already operating with multiple customer level databases. It's based on an interview I conducted with Justin McManus and Particle's head of solutions engineering in July 2018. Marketers, of course, use a variety of systems to design, orchestrate, and measure customer experiences. Many of these manage customer level, level data of one kind or another, as well as integrate with other vendor platforms. So where does a CDP sit in all of this? The short answer is a customer data platform accelerates your enterprise architecture roadmap. The core use cases of data integration and interoperability, you could think of a CDP as serving three broad purposes from an architectural standpoint. First is governance. Second, legacy system augmentation. And thirdly, agility. Let's start with governance. This chart from a Forrester research report shows how the typical enterprise marketing stack is composed of dozens of discrete components. A CDP governs the customer record across all of these systems. Along with this comes a deep level of security. Tactics like ensuring data is encrypted at rest as end in transfer, SDKs that have certificate pinning to ensure there's no picking up of raw data as it crosses these systems, and of course, having an elegant inter interface that lets administrators toggle which user identities and data get sent to these various systems of record, systems of engagement, systems of insight, and so on. The second way in which a CDP accelerates your enterprise architecture roadmap is through legacy system augmentation. Here, let's look at a different visual. Lurking beneath the surface of a typical enterprise marketing stack are legacy data warehouses that serve as systems of record. Many systems of record are just that, a record. A CDP like in Particle, therefore, can ensure that the customer profile data in the data warehouse is available in an as-needed basis for real-time interactions across all these different systems, as opposed to the batch ETL jobs that you see here. And thirdly, CDPs provide a layer of agility. We know from the MarTech Conference's annual Stacky Awards that the enterprise architecture of large brands is always changing. There is always internal projects and new requests and demands from marketers as they try to keep up with their consumers that significantly changes the design of their stacks. Having a customer data platform creates an agility layer because it provides a standardized set of APIs for engineers to build into internal systems, as well as turnkey integrations that let marketers pick and choose the best of breed tools they want to use to acquire, analyze, understand, and retain their customers. So there we have it. A customer data platform doesn't replace your architecture, but it lets the business move faster while still exercising prudence when it comes to governance and control. That's it for today. To learn more, visit imparticle.com.